In order to carry out some of these, um, some of these um, uh, needs and to begin to truly address them in a, in a consistent and practical manner, the American College of Medical Genetics has gotten together with HRSA, MCHB, and, and other organizations uh, to uh, develop a, 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 an approach called toward a uniform screening panel and system. Uh, and there are a series of meetings uh, now going on, sponsored by the uh, uh, ACMG and HRSA, uh, to begin to, uh, to uh, look at many of these issues of newborn screening. Uh, the, the principals in this uh, uh, are, include Michael Watson, uh, Marie Mann, and Michelle Lloyd Poirier from HRSA. Uh, Michael Watson being the director of ACMG, Pierre Rinaldo, and Rodney Howell. Now, among the um, things that uh, the American College of Medical Genetics has been fostering uh, has been an attempt to have um, a simple explanations of these uh, very complicated new disorders that are being uh, now identified in the newborn screen using expanded newborn screening by tandem mass spectrometry to allow for simple explanations to be given to the practicing physician or the health care provider uh, so that this can also so they, this individual can understand these diseases in their simple form and can also relay this understanding to the families who, are, who they must contact. Uh, these simple explanations have, begin, have been given the name Act sheets, and we've uh, developed a, uh, an act sheet for a, a whole host of different uh, metabolic disorders that uh, provides in a single page um, the uh, uh, a, a synopsis of the disorder. This act sheet uh, shown here is uh, one for citral anemia. It identifies it as a urea cycle defect, uh, and then immediately tells the uh, health professional. Uh, what to do when contacted by the laboratory uh, about a baby who might have citral anemia. It says contact the family to inform them of the newborn screening result, uh, provide feeding instructions, uh, emergency treatment uh, if the baby is symptomatic, and so forth. It goes on to explain in one sentence the meaning of the screening result, and then in uh, a couple of three sentences of the condition a description, a very brief description that gives a synopsis of, of what this is all about and then how to confirm the diagnosis and some of the clinical complications that might arise. Um, so um, it is, uh, these act sheets are to meet the, the need for immediate uh, and appropriate information on the part of the healthcare professional and the family with regard to contacting a baby who is contacted because of a newborn screening abnormality. There are many other issues, uh, and we'll be hearing about them from in many other different venues, but uh, I think it's fair to conclude by saying that newborn screening is really still in the process of expansion and will be expanding clearly over the next uh, many years. Uh, it began with the Guthrie test got into multiple Guthrie testing and then congenital hypothyroidism, hemoglobinopathies have been added to newborn screening over the years, congenital adrenal hyperplasia, biotinidase deficiency, most recently the great expansion provided by tandem mass spectrometry and many other uh, conditions are, are going clearly to be able to be applied to that newborn blood specimen for purposes of newborn screening in the future years. The challenges that we are going to be facing is how to best provide newborn screening uh, for all concerned.